So it is 11.30 p.m. June 13th on a Tuesday. Uh, basically, this tier list is for ranking specimens from Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion depending on how well they would fit in Dead by Daylight. Oh man, that freaking voice crack. Alright, so Specimen Zero. Yeah, that's right, I'm getting right into this. Uh, no explanation, except for the one I just gave you. Okay, Specimen Zero, uh, or Specimen One, the cardboard cutouts. Uh, they would make a nice charm. There, There's like a lot of them. And they're cute, a lot of them are. Specimen 2, the specter that's like green and slimy and has those puddles that slow you down. Uh, he's kind of... Uh, there's a few things that are wrong, but I think he would kind of be a decent killer. Specimen 3, the cool looking spider centipede or ugly thing. <laughs> uh, Unfortunately, it's it, it it won't be viable. Um, I don't think you know as a charm or skin, it would be good either. Uh, it's it's mostly just a, you know animal looking thing. It's not humanoid, so it can't be a killer. Um, as an AI, it might work, but uh, well, you know what? Yeah, I'll put it up at AI because uh, even though it is it would be faster than the player when it runs because that's how it works in the game. Uh, I think they can limit it. They would have to limit it somehow and it'll be fine. Uh, specimen 4, the pretty ghost girl. Um, she doesn't really have much going for her, but in endless mode she has this static th uh, thing that appears around the player and it kind of blinds them. So I think they would be viable for... I think she would be viable for a fun killer. And uh, there's two of her because her endless mode form, the you know the one that appears in endless mode, she she works different, like she has a different mechanic, um, like that static thing I just showed you or, or told you about. Specimen five, uh, she basically has the basic uh, you know killer thing going on for her. Um, her power is pretty disorienting, but other than that, uh, I I think she would actually be kind of alright as a killer. Uh, Specimen 6, the puppet, um, I, I'm going to say um, he would probably work as like a charm. I, I, I don't think he would be a good killer. Uh, you know, having to look at something and not have it attack you and you know teleporting behind survivors I don't I just don't see that working specimen 7 I don't think would really work either it's a wall of flesh that chases you um, however I think the cat the cat that appears before I don't think it I don't know if it counts as a specimen but the cat that like talks to you and gives you the uh, you know kind of the psychology quotes or the wisdom basically before facing this um, I think it would be good as a charm specimen 8 now uh, this is actually like a pretty popular choice if you were to talk to someone about Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion and Dead by Daylight uh, I would say he would kind of be the first no, wait a minute. There we go, the first pick. Like, the most viable as a fun killer. Uh, those deer that attack you when you first enter his domain, I guess, will be good as AI. And him, he has, like, a, this th recent addition where, like, he can phase through walls faster than other specter-like things. So that's cool. Specimen 9. This is a weird one. Uh, it could work as like a AI if you like to keep the player, keep like survivors out of like a certain place. Because that, that's kind of how his 
thing works. You go down the hallway and you get stuck and he comes and kills you. So you have to go like a different way. Um, the parasite specimen. I, I, I don't know the exact numbers anymore. I think this is specimen 10. Yeah, that, this was 9, that now this is 10. Uh, I don't really know what to say about it. I think it could work as an AI. Um, but uh, I think I, I think I'm going to put it in unviable because thinking about it, if a, if the killer is chasing you and this is chasing you at the same time, you know, if it was an AI, uh, it wouldn't work because you have to slow down for it. Otherwise, it goes into like its smaller leech form and uh, attacks you. And I, I just don't I almost don't really see it working. And uh, as a killer, I don't think it would be okay because it, it's it doesn't have like the right arms or anything for picking up survivors and putting them on the hook um, specimen 11 the evil gross meat demon thing I think it is possible actually I think I'm gonna put her specimen 4 down here too uh, I think this is possible uh, his power is like basically making doors disappear in terms of appearance, but they're still physically there, so you just kind of had to guess where the door would be. And, yeah, in the game, he could, like, do that to vaults or pallets, make them disappear even though they're actually still there. Uh, the survivors just kind of had to guess. Um, yeah. Uh, specimen 12, I believe this is, the mansion... Um, I think this would be possible. Uh, the mansion itself can be a map, and the guy with the scythe would be alright as a killer. Um, he, there isn't much to him, you just gotta kind of hurry, or else he'll do this, like, charging thing. He can also parry your attacks if you decide to stri strike him with the axe, so... Yeah. So yeah, I think there's some potential there. Uh, specimen 13. I'm going to go with unviable. Just the way she works is just very different. And I don't think the developers could work with her. Like how she works as a monster. Uh, you know, with the room being flooded and you have to go to crate to crate or whatever object to avoid her in the water. So yeah. Uh, this, the, basically the final boss, uh, Specimen 14 or whatever, I actually think he would be a better addition than Specimen 8. Uh, he has many different, like, attacks. Uh, he's kind of easy to fight, if you know what you're doing. And, yeah. Uh, he's just, he's kind of basic looking, he's just a basic red meat guy. <laughs> with evil eyes and whatever, but I don't know, I guess design-wise, Specimen 8 is more unique in that regard, but I don't know, the, the final boss, he does have his, like, own powers that are, I don't know, I, I think he's, I think he would be better than Specimen 8, maybe, maybe. So we're done with the base game, now it's time for Calamari Hospital. Uh, basic security guy thing. Uh, I think he'll be good as an AI, uh, more so than these two. Yeah, there we go. Um, there's nothing really else to him. He's really slow. His hands are bloated. He wouldn't really be good as a killer. <clears throat> there's not much to him. Uh, this body bag thing, now, <laughs> this really scares me. Just the way it moves, it has like no moving animation. It just fl kind of just goes towards you without any hesitation. And I don't think it would be good as a killer, but as an AI of some kind, something that gets up and chases the player would be good. Uh, this monster here, I don't quite understand how he works, but he's basically like Specimen 6, but more gimmicky. And same with Lisa here, or whoever, the unknown specimens, this one. 
uh, yeah, I don't really know how he would work. And just like with Specimen 6, if the survivor encounters the killer and them at the same time, uh, and they couldn't simply just run away, I think it would be frustrating. And I don't think he would be appealing as a skin for another character or as a charm. So yeah. Uh, the weird baby head thing uh, <laughs> is gross. It's pretty gross as a thing in general. Um, I feel like the developers would want to use something else as an AI instead of this. Uh, yeah, the way it works works is just weird, too. I, I kind of forgot how it works, but it's basically, it's basically like uh, this guy, except he phases through walls. I know that much. Um, this weird, monstrous, otherworldly cow thing. It is one of the freakiest specimens in the game, in my opinion. Just the way it works by design, or the way it looks by design. Um, it could possibly work as an AI, but I don't really know. Um, would be a really freaky charm to have, definitely. And I think he like changes the environment and makes it into like a maze kind of thing. That would be neat to have. Um, and uh, he wouldn't work as a, like a, a killer. Um, but as an AI, he, he might work. And the same with this, like, uh, uh, the AI choices are a bit weird and might be impossible. I'm not sure. But, yeah. Uh, Becca, this is one of my favorite monsters in the game. Um, I think she is possible as a killer. Uh, I'll put her in front of this girl here. Uh, I don't know how she quite works, but I know she kind of makes her her vision darker, and she. I know she, uh, recently they made it where she teleports to the other side of the room you're going to, so I, I don't quite know what, how you're supposed to counter her, but she has some kind of teleporting power and um, distortion thing with your screen, so yeah. I apologize for that train sound. You're just gonna wait. Alright, I think we're good now. Alright, I guess that's it. Uh, I do... Okay, yeah, I guess that's it. Uh, White-faced? White-faced? Uh, that's from a di really different game, or a different game entirely. I don't think the licensing would work with that. It would be really confusing. Um, maybe as a charm or skin it could work, but I'm kind of scared to, s in a scenario where he's not, or she, whatever it is, like, even in a scenario where it's possible, I don't know if they would really want it in the game, but I'm gonna, it is kind of iconic, so I'll put it in this category. Alright. Uh, Spooper, or the unknown specimen, <laughs> uh, I don't know if he would really work. He has a weird way of working. Basically, you have to, you know, attack him first to stop him from blocking your path. Then, like, the, there's this weird gas, and he turns into his parasite form. And you have to keep going, and you, you'll keep vomiting. And it, I, I don't know. It's weird and uh, gross. I don't know. Uh, the otter. This is basically, basically a joke character. Uh, he might work as a charm. But other than that, he, he wouldn't be a good AI, unless it was like a joke AI thing. Uh, yeah, not. 
not good. Otherwise, uh, for Spooker, I guess he would stay unviable. Uh, Tersiak, I think she would be possible. Uh, she's not, you know, supposed to be frightening in, in, any, in, in, in any kind of way. She's not supposed to be frightening. Um, but the way she works is kind of viable because you have to, like, slice through these ghost animals that are blocking you or whatever. And, yeah, I guess I don't really know how she would work, but she's a humanoid, so she is possible for being a killer. Uh, she would have some kind of power. I would... Uh, you, you figure it out, okay? Uh, Lisa, I'm going to put an unviable. Because... Uh, just like the hangman guy, uh, she's just, the way she works is really weird. And I think she, like, teleports around the player and you, like, have to look the right way. Or no, maybe, I don't think, I don't know if you're supposed to look at her. Oh, man. I don't know, it's weird. I I'm just gonna put her impossible because she might be. She's really freaky, man. And I just realized maybe they can just alter their power a bit. So, I'll put Hangman up here too. And, you know what, I guess I'll put Spooper and AI. He wouldn't really work that well, but it's possible. Um, now we're on to the dollhouse characters. It's really weird. These weird baby things, they would be a good AI to go against because they're just basic, you know, things that r that walk towards you. Uh, they're, s they're slow and easy to kill, I think, if I remember correctly. Uh, so yeah, that, that's why they're in AI. Um, clown, just basically the clown, would definitely work as a skin for the clown we have in Dead by Daylight. And I think that's all. I don't even know if he can even hurt you in the game. Uh, I just remember him being in a cage and... Yeah. Now this guy. This thing is weird. Um, the way it walks and stuff is just... Ugh. It's actually called Wormy Charles. Which is really dumb and weird name. Uh, it could be possible as a killer. Um, could be possible as an AI too. I don't think he really has a power. Basically, you have to get something and he just uncurls from his sleeping spot and walks after you. It, it's definitely a very unnerving creature, though, or monster. Uh, so yeah. This is called Frenzy. Excuse me. I have actually, I don't think I've ever heard of her, but, uh... Basically, you have this doll in the DLC, and you have to, like, do something or else stuff will happen, and it's bad. And uh, she appears, and you can't approach her, or else she'll run towards you and hurt you. And the, I think the screen just fades, and she goes away. I think she'll be a good AI, an interesting AI to go against. But also, as a killer, maybe, there might be some potential. Uh, yeah, uh, maybe just as an AI. I'm just sorting through these on here. Uh, left would be most viable, and the right would be least likely. Uh, the last thing we have here is the doll, like the cage doll, or whatever they call it. Uh, another, another enemy I didn't know existed. Um, she kind of works in a weird way. It might be good as an AI. Though, to be honest, I, I really don't know where, like, how she would work. I, I'll be honest, I did not really do enough research on this. Real talk, I did not do enough research on this. Um, so yeah, uh, viable, fun... 
I think these enemies would be, or specimens would be a good addition as killer. Uh, possible is like there. It's possible. It's possible for them to be a good or fun killer, but there's a couple problems. Obviously, these have a couple problems too. But I think these specimens are more. It's gonna. It's gonna be a, a pain to work with them and make them work into the game. Uh, AI. These enemies would work at good as an AI, and. Um, I guess in terms of being entertaining, I guess these two would be less than the basic thing that ro walks towards you. Uh, I guess this crazy cow thing would be good. Uh, Frenzy would definitely be up there. Um, the body bag is... it would work different, but I think it's definitely more unnerving than this. Um, I think this weird long baby doll thing, I don't want to call it Wormy Charles, that's weird, but I think that's its actual name on the wiki. Uh, I think that would work as a creepy thing that chases you. Um, yeah, I think the least viable, actually I think Spooper would be a good charm, definitely, because it, it's like a ghost in a ghost bag thing. Uh, charm or skin. Yeah, obviously the cardboard cutouts are an obvious, you know, no-brainer when it comes to charms. Uh, the clown, that can be a weird skin. I think it'll be somewhat appealing. Uh, this specimen, not the one itself, but rather the cat you meet first before you encounter the specimen. I think that would be a good charm or something. Uh, specimen 6, I don't think he would work as a killer or even an AI. You know, having to look at something and the killer being around, you, you know, it wouldn't really work. And that's kind of the same with Lisa and this hangman thing, but they work kind of different, so. And, like I said, they can kind of make it different, but yeah, uh, the otter would not work, m only as a charm, uh, white face, that's from a different game entirely, so I'm just gonna put him in unviable, or her, whatever it is, uh, the parasite thing, specimen 10, I, I, I cannot keep up with these names, I cannot remember anything, lol, uh, the way they work would be too weird to handle uh, these two specimens, and just this weird baby head monster, I think it's just too bizarre and grotesque. Nobody would really like it, so that's why it goes unviable. Like even as an AI, I don't think a lot of people would like it. So. Yeah, I think that's it for this video. I hope it was entertaining. I'm sorry that I'm, you know, constantly, I'm sorry I'm constantly having voice cracks and I'm stuttering a lot. And, yeah, but, yeah, this is for, you know, the specimens if they were fit in as something in, the, in Dead by Daylight. So, cool. Uh, I hope you like this. If not, I'm sorry. And have a good day or night.